Hey everyone, welcome back to the Heretic Circle channel. It is I, Jack. And because the first omen has come out and a lot of people are now kind of catching on to it. They're actually catching on to the fact that it was a great movie that unfortunately no one saw in the movie theater. I think even um, Mike Flanagan, um, he came out and said on, on, a, on Twitter, I believe, he said that the first Omen was one of the scariest or one of the best horror films of the year. And I kind of agree, but also kind of don't because there's Immaculate and then there's this one. They're both kind of similar. But I will say, though, I do really like the first Omen primarily because of what it's trying to do. That's just me. But anyways, though, I figure, you know what? I haven't done a watch along in a bit. So why not try to watch Rosemary's Baby? I have tried watching Rosemary's Baby uh, a few times. I, for some reason, can't get through it. I know a lot of people love it. I really, and I've seen it. I've tried seeing it. I've made it to the end. I know how it ends. We all know the song. Um, I mean, it's a famous song. It is. But I just don't know. I Something about the movie I just couldn't get into. But I say, let's give it a shot. And let's watch Rosemary's Baby. Let, maybe my mind will change. Who knows? So with further ado, without further ado, let's begin. Oh, okay. There you have it, folks. My first time really, really paying attention and watching Rosemary's Baby. Um, I can see why they call it a horror film because it's really the horror is that no one believes you no one believes this girl things are happening there's evidence <laughs> that things are happening to her and she's become so isolated that she has no one to cry she has no one to go to and that everyone around you is conspiring against you to the point where you're just either labeled a nut or you're a danger to yourself and others. And then you got nothing. Oh, I gotta say, I'm, I'm kind of a little sad. that I take, It took me this long to watch this movie because I understand it now. And yeah, it, it's, it's sad. It, it's, it's a, for me personally, it's infuriating. It's more of an infuriating kind of film because you're like, Oh my God, how can, how can no one help her? And the one guy, the one guy, Dr. Hill, the one fucker who could have, he didn't. But it's also showing you the world. It's showing you how at that point, and I, I've heard that some people talk about how this movie is very, it's very, I guess, it, me too in a sense, or very feminist in the sense that it shows you how in that time, no one would believe a woman. No, no one would believe her based off of how what she's saying, how how um, excited she is, or how scared she is because she's not calm and collect. You know, no one's gonna believe you. And also, I mean, at that point, you could kind of see that. Well, your husband has to be the one to tell tell me that you're not crazy. It's kind of, it's sad. It's really, really sad. So, yeah, I understand what, I understand now why it's a classic film. I really, really do. And if you notice at the beginning of this movie, I, I'm one way. And then now towards the end, I'm just like a total shift. And that's, that's a sign of a good movie. When it makes you just shut the fuck up. <laughs> and just like, oh, you're in, you're in, you know? So. Rosemary's Baby. There you go. What did you guys think of it? Um, I'm pretty sure whoever has seen this will pretty much will ask me the same thing. Why the fuck did it take you so long? Well, 
I'm an idiot. What can I say? There's no really no other explanation for it. It's just like, well, I have tried. This is actually the first time I really, really sat down and just paid attention. I've tried other times. I just, it's the slow burn. It really is the slow burn of this type of film that it will either hook you or not. And they're subtle. That's the thing about this film, that they're subtle. There's little red flags coming in and out. And only until a certain part will it make you just, shh, hold on. And then you're in, you know? But amazing. Mia Farrow was amazing in this film. I understand now why it's a classic. So there you go. I hope you've enjoyed this. Leave a comment below. Um, if this is going to be on, we'll see where I put this. Most likely it's going to be on YouTube, but wherever this is, wherever you're seeing this, there should be an abil ability to comment. So please comment, share it. And if it's, if it makes it onto YouTube, because sometimes these things don't make it onto YouTube, if it makes it on there, like subscribe, share it, whatever. Um, but there you go. Thank you for spending your time with me. If you made it all the way through and see you in the next one. Cheers.